And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. There's some new research which says that on-again, off-again relationships could be harmful to your mental health. Oh, I can co-sign that one. Yeah, it's never really worked out too well for me. Uh, you just create scar tissue. Just fucking scar tissue, scar tissue, scar tissue. And then, like, I was always the one leaving, so they're always waiting for the other fucking foot to fall. They they never they never were comfortable in the relationship after you break up with them like twice. You know what I mean? Fucking, they can never get comfortable. Why would you go back then? Because I loved them. Did you? Yeah, I just didn't know how to be intimate, so I'd like create these fucking weird, like weird boundaries and weird shit to make it where I broke up with them. I'd have been better off cheating and just letting it eat me up inside. It's an option. I guess. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was fucking crazy. Yeah. So on again, off again. I will co-sign that. Fucking it, bad for you, dude. They're saying specifically uh, these types of uh, up and down situations are often marred by higher rates of abuse, worse communication, and lower levels of commitment. As you just suggested. Well, there's clearly, yeah, that's the whole, it, yeah. People need to feel secure in a relationship. And if somebody keeps breaking up, that breeds insecurity. And then from that insecurity, all these other problems come up. It's not a good idea. But it can work out, so maybe maybe you're the one that pulls it off. But there's Yeah, keep it up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> work for me. I'm 41 and single. Now, they're saying here that uh, it looks like six in ten adults have trudged through on and off again relationships. So this is happening quite often. Six in ten adults? Yep. This is not. Well, there you go. Not uncommon. All right. But if you're doing this, obviously go to some sort of counseling. That's what they're saying. Or, man, just be patient. It de- it, well, it depends what you're breaking up over. I'll just pick them apart. You know what I mean? I'm like, that was stupid. That's shocking. Shouldn't have said that. Oh, look at John being <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That's shocking. Yeah. They you... never they never was as dumb as you, though, John. Uh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> you choose wisely. Yeah, so... I don't want no fucking idiot baby. <laughs> Dick. Have you ever been to couples counseling? Yeah, I went there once. Oh, I can't imagine. And it was that. crazy. I hate that. Yo, it was crazy because um, m- the lady, I, w- I went there one time and the lady was like, um, yeah, she's mad at you for something and she is taking it out this way. And I was like, no, she's not. I didn't believe her. And then like, it was like three years later, I was like, wait, damn, that that counselor was right. She saw something I didn't see. I thought she was just fucking dumb, but she was passive aggressive. Oh, the 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 girlfriend. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I was like, "You fucking idiot! Why you keep doing this shit? You know, you know it hurts my feelings." And then she'd do it again, and I'm like, "What a fucking moron!" Turns out <laughs> she wasn't a moron. She was just fucking angry at me for some unknown fucking reason. I think she hated the like. Every, I think she hated everything about me. All right, that's. That's Seems pretty, pretty far. Uh, Everything th- about you. I think. I think. She, I think there was a deep dislike for me. <laughs> like she was like a she was like a dog lover. I'd wear Michael Vick jerseys just to fuck with people. <laughs> I'm like, how are you gonna be all animal rights while you're eating that hamburger? I'm a vegetarian too, by the way. At the time, so I'm like, I was looking out for animals more than they were. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I hope she's happy. If you're listening, I hope you're happy. I'm sure she is. I am. I got John. Yep. <laughs> I don't need world. anyone. I got fucking <laughs> I got fucking Mac tonight. <laughs> With a beard. Uh, there's this strange company that is claiming to sell sneeze filled tissues for eighty bucks to Why? Because they're saying that if you uh, put this pre-sneeze tissue up to your face, you'll, you'll catch a cold and sort of get it out of the way. 
which is absurd. So you're you're paying for a cold, right? Is it like a light cold or a heavy cold? It's just all bullshit, man. You'll I mean, probably catch a cold. <laughs> I, I don't maybe. think that's bullshit. <laughs> I just don't understand the whole fucking... I'd, I'd rather just roll the dice and hope that I don't get a cold that year. Yeah, this is outrageous. But So it's called Vave, and if you, they've got a... Of course, they've got web, a website if you want to watch that little promotional video. This is some... I feel like this is something... This is somebody we should book and talk to and have the, have the callers talk to them. Yeah, absolutely. The guy's a little weird. Something's wrong. All right, so, so let's book him. Okay, something's really off with this, but... Okay, good. All right, <laughs> it's settled. We'll book him. So here's what they're out there pushing. You tear your muscles to become stronger. You learn to fall to become a dancer. Oh, you callous fall. your fingers to become a musician. Yeah, you could Why have done this while we had the guests. I don't need to see this shit. I don't need to see this. Just book them. Book them, Dano. I should tell you. Time looked into this, and it looks as though he just has a very light online footprint. There's just a lot of weird things going Bro, on. Bro, just get yeah, the him, fucking guy. Why do you keep talking? No, I'm sorry. Bye. All I want to hear is okay. And if you want this tissue, I'm afraid oh. they're sold out. Which is they're also, sold out. Which is also weird. They probably it doesn't. It, yeah, I hear you sold out. No one's probably buying them, so they were like, "We're sold out." <laughs> All right, but you ever like drive by a bar and there's a long ass line, and then you fucking get in there because you know the door guy, and then you go inside and there's no one there. That's what they're doing. They're trying to create like a. They're trying to make it look like everybody wants some, but they don't. Yeah, book that motherfucker. I want your head to start working that way. Yeah, I thought All I the too. producers listening. Every every too. producer listening. I just saw it. Fucking weird shit like that. I want that. I want you to be on the horn fucking trying to get them. Thank you. So when we get him. I don't need a girl. I got John. <laughs> shit in the bed. I need you. But again, kids at home. You, you, You're you still going to talk about you, it. You don't want to do this. Still talking about well, it. Well, it seems still weird. Still shut up. Still talking Fine. about it. Fucking Jesus Christ, you can't right. fucking ass burgers. Now this leads us can't vi- stop. This leads us very nicely into the next one. What's it about? Uh, Assholes that don't shut up. Causing your coworkers to uh become you. aggravated. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, all right. That, 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 you're right. I fucking well played. Okay. All right. How do you cause your coworkers to become aggravated? Well, there's a whole bunch of uh, options here. Give me a couple. Throw some at me. Let's let's start it off. Okay. Uh, hogging the bathroom for social reasons. You're in there on the toilet, sort of going through Tinder or your Twitter feed. Masturbating, maybe. Oh, that's a big problem <laughs> for some. How long does it take you to catch a nut? These days, it's, I'd really cut back because the other floor is coming down. It's like it's like halftime at the Super Bowl now. The other floor is coming down to our floor? Yeah, man. There's so much traffic in there, it's crazy. Why don't you go up to their floor? Well, their bathroom is under construction or something. Oh, so you got to go down to 12. 12 is a ghost town. Oh, you keep saying that. I'll check that out. I'm telling you, man, 12 is a fucking ghost town. Every time I go in that bathroom, <laughs> it's like the lights come on automatic, you know, because they got the fucking lightsaber shit. Check that out. So later. it'll just be dark, and I walk in there like, blink. <laughs> well, when you it down, check 12 when you want to masturbate. <laughs> Do you wear headphones or do you just watch the porn with the sound down? Sound off. Really? Yeah. I, I, I need to know what's going on. If there's like a threat or something's, you know, a little, little vulnerable. I need to see what's happening. <laughs> I need to hear shit when I'm fucking doing it. I've been really into the goddamn. I, I've been on a shoplifter's roll. The shoplifting one. Oh, that are caught and they're <laughs> in yeah. the back room. Yeah, yeah. I've been on a roll with that. I think I. It's like, bro, fucking. Back to back for fucking a week straight. Why do they pixelate the guys' faces? I don't get that part. Because they're trying to make it look as real as possible. <laughs> even though it's like straight up porn <laughs> stars that are hired. <laughs> I saw Blair. Was it was Blair the fucking deep uh, throats the banana? Right. Blair Williams is that her name or something like that? Fuck, I forgot her goddamn name. Oh, no. She was cool as hell too. Always a great guest. I saw her on there. I'm like, that's a fucking You don't want to go to jail, do you? 
Well, I can call the cops. No, 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 I'm gonna call the cops. Well, you have to, you have to make me happy. It's the same lines. I know the whole fucking shit. <laughs> what are you gonna do to make me happy? That's right. Don't touch me there. Fine, I'll call the cops. <laughs> you know what to do. And then they fucking suck them up. Hit it doggy style, and then they're all bummed and shit. And then they start to like it. Fucking awesome. Perhaps the mom is there. Yep, I saw that one. <laughs> That's right. Show show your daughter how to suck the dick. It was just so fucking. <laughs> Speaking of which, I was at fucking La Chambre, I think is the name on Telegraph, uh, back in Michigan. And it's a strip club. And back in the day, I don't think they do it anymore. You used to be able to get hand jobs. And uh, I tried to get fucking a hand job from this chick. And she was like, I can't. My mom's my mom's next to me. And I look oh. over and her mom's fucking giving a lap dance. Oh, my God. Uh, it was bleak. It was fucking bleak. I was like, shit. All right, fine. That would have been hot, though. I would have let her. Their mom. Mm. Like, look at your daughter. Oh. Look at that little fucking. <laughs> look what you did. Oh, damn. Look, look what you raised, that little slut. Oh. Oh, yeah. Blair Williams. Yep, there she, she is. Fucking, her ass is getting bigger. Go ahead, Blair. Yeah, we should bring her back. Yeah, we need... We we need... And the who, who, who's the Spanish chick that was fucking... She, that went. They went head to head. Did we? Did we? We didn't. We even, that didn't even make the best of for the year. When they went head to head with the like dick, a year and a half ago, dick sucking contest. Right. Who was that? I the know. V, I think. That lady's name. We know. didn't do a best of the year before anyway. So like, we got we got a whole fucking best ofs for the year before. Yeah, she sucked the fuck out of those bananas. Oh, it's tough to watch. Very difficult to watch. You didn't like it. You're Not a really. bitch. <laughs> with with the peel on. Well, because if not, the fucking banana breaks in the throat, and then Joke. now we got to fucking do the Heimlich. <laughs> That's not sexy. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. Another problem at work, the noise people, paying attention to your phone, not the people you're with. That's across That's the board. Ev- That's fucking everybody. Faking special needs to get preferential treatment. I did that all last year. How? JK, I was actually sick. Oh, (laughs) Oh, we did dust up here in the office. I don't want to get too specific, but about the air conditioning. Whew. That was a... What are you talking about? uh, The AC was too cold? Someone got... Someone was a little upset about how cold it was, and this turned into an atomic situation for several days. Are you fucking serious? Dude. It was ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's in or out of it. Were they like right below the vent? Or yes, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but yo, dude, that sucks. <laughs> I I feel for that person right below the vent, but like choose your battles. I don't know, dude. You ever since I went to the fucking I I went to that horror house and got a fucking head cold. I I, I felt it was because the air conditioner was just blowing right on me, blowing all that dirty fucking horror air. All the horror air blowing on me. I was like, ugh. I end up with a head cold. Now, now, now I don't like to get my head right next to the AC. But that being said, I'm going to guess it was a woman. You're Be- getting warmer. Well, because yeah. women t- tend to get cold easier than men do for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because like, their periods or some shit. I, I'm not a scientist. But women do get cold generally get cold or easier than men i've noticed that um but yo like fucking here's the thing we if it's too hot in the office there's only so much shit we can take off before hr gets called so if it's too cold in the office, there's so much you can do. You can put on a you can put on a hoodie. You can put on a fucking little beanie. You can do all that. You can bring a fucking space heater. There's all these different things you can do. So I feel like if you're gonna have to go one way or the other, you got to go too cold. I would agree with that. We it swung the other way and it turned into like a greenhouse for a couple of days. Yeah, motherfuckers <laughs> falling out, falling asleep, knocked out of the death. Fucking uh, I'll throw Ke- Kevin from Ellis's show. 
fucking, he kept his shit. He would keep it so fucking hot in there, dude. You go in there, you fucking, <laughs> fucking knocking out. Hot as shit. And a couple more. Well, Overloading your workspace, uh, workspace with personal belongings. People don't like that. And bringing, let's say, stinky fitness gear to workstations. Shit like that. What about stinky food? They Did don't that, mention that, but that's obvious. Yeah. You'd be uh, some some people I'm like for real. Fish. Like, or chicken masala. Like you got to fucking like. <laughs> I won't even bring like hard boiled like I. Anything with like hard boiled egg, I go eat in the fucking like I go eat away from people. I, like just out of common decency. What else? I like this shit. I like getting mad at people. Uh, that's kind of it for that's, the. That's all too cold. Personal shit and fucking bathrooms. Oh, here's here's a good one that we used to witness. Uh, people who uh, reveal too much at work. I mean, it doesn't like really bother me. It'll, it's a little weird. Like when my man was talking about making out with the German dude. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, remember that intern who came here and she was looks like she was going to the club all the time. That's what they're talking about. Oh, people. she was a little fucking trollop. She was, she was always, and that's that shit. Like, she was dressed like a video vixen. I could have said hoe, but she was dressed like a video vixen. And like the other, the worst part was, was she would sit down and chop it up with the guests, like until it was until it was uncomfortable. Oh, she was handing out uh, demos. Yeah, she was handing out her fucking mixtape. Like, oh. oh, bro. And then the worst part was, was the fucking dude that hired her <laughs> brought her ass back after all of that shit. That was so puzzling. Sex sells, dude. <laughs> like, that was a fucking hornball. <laughs> like, there's no, other, there's no other reason. She was so inappropriately dressed. She was so inappropriately dressed. She got some dates, though. Off the guests, I bet. Yeah, she did. I'm she sure. Did. She, uh, I, what? What? I wonder which guest she fucked. I know this. I know there was a couple like black comedians that came in with me that like she ran up on her. That I'm sure they fucking knocked that shit down. Yeah, I can't remember, but I, they I was asking that. me about it. I was like, man, she's a fucking intern, dog. I don't know. Yeah. Good, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> I ain't. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say nothing one way or another, man. Just have some fucking. Do whatever y'all need to do. She was the worst. But she didn't last. Where is she now? That's cause mother that's cause we made a fucking stink when he brought her when he brought her ass back. We like, nah, bro. Like I, I was like, for real? Cause I be trying to do a fucking I be trying to do a goddamn interview and you could hear her through the fucking door laughing and talking about herself. Like, bitch, go get some motherfucking coffee like an intern. Who the fuck do you think you are? Idiot. See? It annoyed you. Oh, bro. <laughs> it annoyed everybody. I thought it was insane. But if, if you are facing this shit, they're saying here, uh, try to deal with it uh, with humor at first. Sort of ease into it. Just joke about it a little bit, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's fucking funny as hell. You got your titties and ass and your pussy out. That's pretty See? fucking funny. I don't know if that would work. But they're just saying, start the... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pussy look like Homer Simpson's mouth. That's funny at work. Like, that would be like me wearing some tight-ass dick print pants. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, with, with, be a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> like Jude, man. And then the shit's structured in a way where, like, you can't even... You got to go to the boss to go have them talk to her. You can't even be like, hey, man, like. Oh, absolutely. At this point, I wouldn't. I don't talk to nobody about shit. Yeah. I, and I, I I, don't really complain about nothing. For many, many literature. Fuck is that? Oh, it's just a misfire in a tab. All right. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. What else? All right, so Chris Brown. Turns out, of course, he was detained uh, on Monday by police in Paris after a woman accused him of rape and uh, two of his colleagues. But he was released. No charges were filed. Whoa. And oh, there's the investigation continues, but at this point, no charges are filed. And now he is out there saying that he's going to sue this lady. 
Uh, for what, defamation of character? He vigorously challenges the charges against him. A complaint for slanderous denunciation will be filed with the public prosecutor of Paris. So he's going in saying bullshit. He did delete. Remember that, that thing he posted on Instagram yesterday? That bitch was lying. That's, that's now gone. Yeah, his fucking, <laughs> his lawyer was like, hey, bro. The moment I saw that, I was like, <laughs> hey, be a gentleman. Christopher, be a gentleman. I saw him in public one time, and he he seemed like a, he seemed cool. He could roller skate good. Saw him roller skating at Snoop Dogg's birthday party. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, can't nobody young roller skate no more. Like, because growing up, you used to go to the roller rink. Like, that was the cool shit to do. You go roller rink and fucking roller skate. And, uh, like, I stopped, they stopped doing it. And everybody was on hoverboards going around in a circle. It was the most pathetic shit ever. And then, then here comes Chris, like, gigging, roller skating. And I was like, damn, dog. All right, Chris Brown. I like Chris Brown the same way I like Kanye. Because they, like, they're, they keep it real with their feelings. And um, that being said, if he, if he did, uh, if he did rape her, then I I hope fucking justice is served. And if he didn't, then I hope that he beats the fuck out of that case. You like the way I hedge my bets, there, guys. Yeah. I don't fucking. <laughs> but even if like even if he doesn't, like that's a fucking another ding on his shit. You know, even if he didn't do it, it's another fucking ding on Chris Brown shit. Right. All right, give me some good news after and that. And now, rape. time for good news. <laughs> give me the update. Uh, so, this Buddhist poker player, he is donating all six hundred thousand dollars of his winnings to charity. And again, it's important to point out that he's a Buddhist, um, and he's saying, though gambling is generally at odds with religion, the sixty-seven-year-old um, he is just out there because he likes playing poker and. He's he's got enough money. He's made enough out there, so he's just he just does it for fun and then donates it to places like Oxfam and Doctors Without Borders. Scott Wellenbach. I mean, I heard is, Doctors Without Borders is like a scam. I have not heard that. I heard that shit. I did not hear that. What are you talking about? That's what I heard. What on the streets? I don't trust none of that shit. <laughs> Come on. What are you talking about? I don't trust anything. <laughs> I think they're good people. I'm sure they are. You want to hear Scott talking about why he does this? Yeah, let's hear Let's hear from the Buddhists. All right, here we go. Now, I've been giving all my net profit, not my winnings, because some, you know, some nights you're playing poker and you win, and the next night you lose, right? So my net profit to charity... For a number of reasons. First, I'm in a very fortunate position. I'm able to do this. I'm still working. The job, you know, translator, it pays a decent salary. Uh, it certainly covers my living expenses. Since Buddhists tend to be very frugal, we sit around and meditate. Everyone can do that for free. Hit you know, pause. It doesn't really cost anything. Hit pause. And also, I've been very fortunate. Since Buddhists sit around and meditate... Smug motherfucker. All right, keep going. You you didn't see his Not face. Really. Go back and look at his face the way he said it. He was so fucking smug. He's just a thoughtful guy. That I know smug when I see it. Go ahead. Hey. All right. God. You know, it, it doesn't really cost anything. And also, Wait, you I've missed it. Go back. Right. Fucking. There it is. Listen. It certainly covers my living expenses. Since Buddhists tend to be very frugal, we sit around and meditate. Everyone can do that for free. You know, it, it doesn't really cost anything. That's just like old guy humor. Uh, anyone can do that for free. <laughs> He's a Buddhist. He's like, I just love, I love taking your good news and shitting on it. <laughs> He's getting six hundred thousand dollars away. He gave away six hundred thousand dollars. That's yeah. fucking awesome. Doctors without borders. <laughs> All right, well, let's hear the rest of what he's got to say. There's a little bit left. And also, I've been very fortunate um, investing over the last number of decades. So I invest um, in prisons. Financially comfortable. <laughs> I believe. Well, the prison okay. industrial <laughs> complex has really paid off for me. He's up in Canada. Aren't they, aren't they good people up there? They like to think so. <laughs> Just joking. 
Yeah, buddy. It does say you got to be careful because some other companies try to use this Doctors Without Borders, and that's the scam. What is it? Other companies try to say that they're Doctors Without Borders and they're not? That's what it is. Fraudulent. All right. There you go. But the actual actual, uh, company is legit, the actual charity. Too legit to quit. Says Chris. Yeah. I don't believe anything. I don't know who I believe anymore. I don't trust any of them charities. I think I told you the last time, girls, like, do you have time? Like, they're always posted out up, out front of the fucking woke bookstore. I got the, I got a woke bookstore right by my fucking shit. Like, do you have, you two seem like a friendly couple. I was like, yeah, you want to have a threesome? And then she ran away. She didn't like that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're friendly. Friendly enough to eat you out. Araka. Another work. time they ran up on me. I was like, "Yo, dude, I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm kicking drugs right now. I can't even fucking talk to you." That you just gotta say shit that makes them uncomfortable when they run up on you asking for things. Do you like children? No, I fucking hate children. And then they'll be like, "Ugh." <laughs> Do you want to save dolphins? A dolphin killed my father. Oh. Just fucking say that shit. So that's how you keep those fuckers off of you. And then when with the bums, God bless you. I did it again. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. It's bum kryptonite. I'll have to try that. They're starting to get mad at me. Hey, can I no. have a cigarette? Uh, you know, I don't have any. Fuck you, man. Like look, a- just be like, look, bro, God bless you, man. I wish you the best. God bless you, man. Poor people believe in God. God bless you. All right. God bless you, man. I'm doing it. I see him every day. Yeah, dog. Just right. God bless you, man. God, I hope God bless you. And then if it's then if it's like too much, just fucking hit him with a flirt. God bless you. God bless you. Like a fucking flurry. <laughs> Whatever. That bum's eyebrows are way too nice, dog. I'm like, your eyebrows are way too nice to be begging me for money. Shit's on fleek, bro. All right. That's the news.